Good morning one and all. This is Gayatri of Narayana School, Nasipatnam branch. Today my subject is physics and in that my topic is center of mass. First of all, if we take an any object, it will have n number of particles in it. So, if we want to apply a force on it, we should apply a force on n number of particles too. That is nothing but if the particles are considered as f, then the force which we should apply applied on it is nothing but F1, F2 and F3. So, the total force is nothing but F1 plus F2 plus F3 and so on. So, first of all what is meant by center of mass and where is it presented? Center of mass of a body or a system is presented at the entire mass, where is it presented? It is nothing but the center of mass that is nothing but in the center. As everybody knows that the point at where the entire mass is supposed to be concentrated. In this Coming to the topic is nothing but motion of center of mass. By listening this topic, we should get something into our mind. That is nothing but motion of center of mass. Motion is nothing but when if a body is in the moving position, then we will call it as motion. Means motion of center of mass is nothing but the center of mass is moving from one place to another. Is it not? Here, if a body is moving or else if it is in a motion, Actually, we know that if a body is in motion, it will have some velocity and some acceleration, right? In the same way, in the same way, the center of mass too has some velocity and some acceleration. Here, first of all, what is the position of the center of mass? To find the position of the center of mass, we are having an equation and a formula to find it. That is nothing but R, Cm is nothing but the center of mass. The formula for it is M1 R1 plus M2 R2 plus so on M1 R1 because we will have n number of masses and n number of particles. By these are the total masses that, that is nothing but m1 plus m2 plus mn and so on mn. Here this r1 will be in the form x1i plus y1j plus z1k and x2 will be in the form that is nothing but r2 x2i plus y2j plus z2k and so on we will have r n values that will be in the form xni plus yj plus znk. In, now, as I said that it will have some acceleration and velocity. Going to the next topic, we learn about the velocity of the center of mass. First of all, velocity. Is the velocity is equal for everything? If I am standing in this position, for suppose my mass is 43, I moved with some velocity here. Again with some velocity I came here. Is the velocities are same? No, but my mass is constant, isn't it? In the same way, every object mass is constant but not the velocity. Here coming to the velocity of center of mass, the equation to find it is m1 v1 that is nothing but the mass of the first object and velocity of the first object. m2 v2 mass of the second object and velocity of the second object and so on we are having n number of masses and n number of particles. In the same way, all the masses those are nothing but m1 plus m2 plus so on mn. <coughs> This velocity is nothing but this m1 v1 plus m2 v2 plus so on m n v n. This total mass are considered as a single mass that is nothing but the total mass. This mass is dividing the total number of values that is nothing but m1 v1. As it is dividing here it comes here for multiplying that is nothing but the total mass is multiplying with the velocity. <coughs> here this mass into velocity is considered as Momentum. Momentum is denoted with the letter P. This P is nothing but momentum. Cm is center of mass equals to P1 plus P2 plus so on Pn. And coming to the next topic, acceleration of center of mass. This M1, M2 and Mn as usual those are masses and acceleration 1, 2 and so on we are having n number of accelerations. Here this M1, A1, M2, A2 plus so on Mn, An this total masses are considered as M that is nothing but total mass. In the same way this mass is multiplied with the acceleration to form as a force. As we know that the force is nothing but the mass into acceleration. Here this mass into acceleration is written as force. This force total forces like mass into acceleration 1 is denoted as F1 and M mass, <coughs> mass of the second object and acceleration of the second object as F2 and so on Fm. This is nothing but this is the picture to show the center of mass. In this the center of mass is presented at the center and it is having the n number of particles. 
This is of the motion of the center of mass. This is the center of mass is moving in different ways. That is nothing but it is in motion. In motion, it is having different velocities and accelerations. So, as I completed my topic, and these are the types of center of masses, and it has the different types of velocities, accelerations, etc. Thank you for giving me this golden opportunity.